And I mean, just to put it out there, I mean, if this stuff is like generationally cursed or hereditary or whatever, um, I'm also, you know, gonna just put it out there that this does not also run in my family. There isn't a single person of the colorful community in my family, even among the youth, because they're the ones that seem to be embracing the strange agenda all over the show. Not even one. So really and frankly, I, I mean if there's anything that you might want to like afflict Garabo with in terms of a temptation using generational curses try and recruit me for witchcraft because my family's full of witches and recruit me for being with little boy men that you end up becoming a little bit of a beefy queen boss lady over for a husband my women the women in my family are always ending up with pipsqueaks for husbands um try what is this like I told you, demonic worship is like a whole big thing. Witchcraft is like the main thing uh, in my family. Fornication, I mean, I think that's in pretty much all the families of the earth uh, type setup thing. We've got a very big fat pro oh, gossip, just the betrayal backstab. Like, try so many other things that you can grab in my generational tree. Oh, alcohol, that's another one. Like, that that runs in my family, like across the, the extended set um, type thing. So, if you really want to inflict Garabo, put a bottle of some whiskey or wine in front of her, a little bit of a magic wand an ancestor or two um and and like a, a pipsqueak man and that 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 is your like cocktail temptations that could lower garabo generationally because of what her family just generally is into but i mean colorful agenda that is not a problem here it, it's just it's never been and also another thing that's not a problem in my family is suicide so that can also account for why it is that people are struggling so much to kill me with suicide because it just it's not a generational curse if i were to kill myself i would be the first in my bloodline my dad lived a horrific life and messed up so badly that he was like a fit and perfect little cooked up stewed candidate for suicide but he never killed himself to a point where he frustrated his family he ended up dying from prostate cancer a broke poor man but had nothing at all living from pillar to post with everybody just waiting for him to die the way he was so annoying but he never killed himself so suicide does not run in my family uh do you, like witches i'm giving you ideas uh, to, as to what to like just throw like give up on certain things with me uh, you try you, you're trying so many things you're trying so many things because you've seen them working in people i'm trying to help you understand that pre pre hered like um susceptibility creates is created in people through either generational curses or past experimentation and and um, so I'm trying to help you, <laughs> you know, uh, skinny up, like, you know, take off your, your plate, all this work, this hard work you're doing where I'm concerned, lean it down, you know, remove the milestones that you need to check off experimentation on a system. I'm literally giving you on a silver platter what are the things that you can throw at me to really give me a run for my money. But there are just certain things that you just like, stop, it's never going to work. And among them is the attempt at lesbianism. And it's about time I address this matter because I've been getting attacked by it so badly that it accounts for something like 35% of all the dreams and visions I get. Um, but I haven't been talking about it because it's that much of a non-issue. Uh, how about you focus on all the things that I do talk about? The reason why I talk about them so much is literally because they are a true temptation. Literally. Okay? Because they're a true temptation. So if I'm not talking about it, despite you afflicting me with it, it's a hint. Remove the workload from yourselves like just don't try lesbianism there are so many other ways you can make me sin because you're trying to make me sin against god that one will never happen so save your money stop visiting your sangomas and your whatnot to make me a lesbian because you want me to compromise in some way or other uh, if anything the biggest ad advice i'd ever give you which is is keep sending me dirty men that is the bane of my existence it is probably my achilles heel it is the thing that i cannot stomach nor stand i hate it it makes me frustrated it makes me want to pull hairs out of my head it it is a proper trigger it is a good like juicy beefy trigger like if it works ain't no need to change it if it ain't broke don't fix it like keep sending me filthy men that if you really want to like make me throw my toys out the cart if you want to push me to the edge and make me ask god why 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 over and over again if you make me want to basically make war with heaven for perpetually just irritating me with the same thing that is the bane of my existence keep sending me dirty men that is your 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 gold mine that's your that is the goose that lays the golden eggs yeah that 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 you should just stick to that particular strategy because it has worked wonderfully to frustrate me to a point where i would feel like god has forsaken me i'm literally giving you hints as to how to tempt me <laughs> stop like lesbian it's never gonna work now that we're past that if you want to take my advice take it if you don't want to take it don't take it i mean you know this is a trial by ordeal at the end of the day people are gonna die at the end of this thing so since we are at a battle unto death 
given that you won't repent and give your lives to Jesus, you get to fight. So I'm going to give you an advantage in this battle against one who cannot be defeated and let you know that throwing a lesbian curse in my direction is just going to give me a nightmare that I'm going to wake up and be like, ew, after and not even talk about it. Improve your chances of winning this. Okay improvement um yeah so may the odds be ever in your favor in these hunger games i'm gonna win but you do get to fight after all you are going to hell in the end so who in the world goes to hell without fighting you gotta die like kicking the kicks of a dying horse so let me give you something worthwhile to kick properly this is a battle between two people where so everybody got bruises you're gonna be the guy whose bruises are fatal but you know, you get to put bruises on me. So I'm gonna let you know that if you really wanna bruise me, keep sending me that little Californian idiot in America, type men, a little worm, a sleaze, a Janice and a Jambreeze, that that's gonna put a, you know, a little bit of a blue eye, like maybe make me, you give me a nosebleed, you know, it chew off my ear cause it's Tyson. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what's good. Before I lay you in the ground and you know, people be out just singing, I'm going home at your funeral. RIP except not, you will chew my ear off with that kind of strategy. But with the lesbian thing, you're just gonna make me roll my eyes. Guys, it's never gonna work, okay? Right, now that we have spoken that and given some witches a little bit of an extra weapon in their little um, experimental hub there in the occult, ch chilling in the second heaven with the demons and what have you, let's go on right ahead to tell you an experience that I had when I was um, losing everything at MTN. There was an HR, one of the HR ladies there uh, that was dealing with my case was <laughs> something, the very thing that I've been trying to avoid um, all my life, okay? Uh, basically being converted to a woman lover because men have slapped you silly and uh, literally thrown you and beaten you black and blue because they thought it was love in the brain uh, against walls until you turned lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> one of the hr ladies dealing with my case that persecuted me <clears throat> was converted to lesbian experimentation or bisexual whatever she wanted to call herself frankly i don't care uh this chick the lord gave me dreams of her basically being like like she at the time already i was quite angry at, at men all right i was literally livid throwing my toys out the cot at the hr executive like there was this one yes the way i so come like the way men have so afflicted me yes like guys they've been so typical like whew. As you typical, yo, as yo, like the conservative mob in America is always complaining against women that are on this me too tip. On some me too, me too, me too. A man has hurt me. A man has that me. Um, I also have got an issue. And then there's like a whole statistic that 98% of women have been a, a, a part of me too. The me too trend is about women who also have been sexually harassed in some way by men. It doesn't have to be full on sexual molestation, but just you know a boob being or being spoken to with sexual innuendo strange puns of that nature and so apparently like 98 percent of american women are, are in the me too camp mm. well uh that's the one argument that the conservatives in america are constant with where they basically say women in america are always just blaming men for sexual perversion when it's not even that deep or that bad because i thoroughly belong to the me too camp okay like i have suffered so much at the hands of opportunistic men i am thoroughly a me too on fire do you understand i am a me too gawking at you without appreciation because it's like broccoli on the plate of a three-year-old child like what is this doing on my plate mm. that's the kind of me too i am the human resources executive at mtn tried to flirt his way out of my case uh going anywhere and i for the life of me got so irritated with that they then when i was busy sending emails complaining about my case i had some male respond to me by saying ah come on the issue like understand i'm losing my job i'm losing everything i've ever worked for as a woman i'm, I'm basically talking about very serious issues and some dude who i don't know but i can see the name there is a guy responds by saying come on relax and besides i'm a fan basically suggesting that i'm doing only fans here but like for work so me throwing my toys out the cot was attractive to this man to a point where he decided he's gonna flirt with me then yet another experience i had where some dude i'm busy literally logging a case complaining about mistreatment on my person and he decides to respond to me privately and not to everybody saying you can talk to me 
um just you know what, what what's up uh, babe are you as you as men they saw a woman in distress and they imagined damsel in distress and they decided to respond to me in a way that suggested ah you just needed to be cuddled you just need to be hugged you need to be kissed you need to have somebody stroke your cheek and say it's gonna be okay are you freaking serious my whole career is on the line and i need you to stroke my cheek is that what's going on yo that's like it guys Ugh. lord have mercy i have been me dude in the worst way so i was complaining in my emails go mtn about all of this lewd man male activity going on trying to capitalize on a woman throwing her toys at the cot because hr is messing up her case and my email even though this woman was actively persecuting me with the company that she worked for that used to be the company i worked for mtn she could relate i was crying about the response of the men in my case how it is that they were literally flirting with me. I found it inappropriate and it was disgusting. And the Lord then gave me a dream of this woman basically looking at me on some, why then are you still so busy with men? Like, don't you see they're a waste of time? <laughs> I was like, oh. she was really beautiful, this chick. And she was one of those black girls that have a whole bunch of attitude when you're walking around all over the show. I never would have imagined that she, she'd she been won over for the other side. But apparently this woman was so angry. And the Lord showed me that she is in not only she's got a living boyfriend. But she was so mad at him and had been with him for so long that she thoroughly had a whole full on thriving relationship with a woman. And this boyfriend of hers that she lived with believed that the woman that she was always spending time with was her best friend. <laughs> <laughs> the woman she had been spending time with was a best friend right uh, and that's what was going on and this woman developed a crush on me because of the fact that i was relatable the two of us were mad at the same things we were trying to talk serious matters and guys were busy flirting with us <laughs> and she was like as in i might be an mtn hr person and i need to be professional in basically getting you fired without cause maralana you've hit a nail on the coffin here you're right and she imagined that being able to also be relate with me in other words also being part of the me too camp she thought that, that that could spark like a relationship like the like she literally developed a crush on me because she could relate with my irritation with men and the very thing that made her cheat on her boyfriend with what her boyfriend believed to be her best friend that she was literally she was literally in a three-way relationship she had a solid thriving relationship with a woman and she was living with a man and this man would allow the two of them to spend all this time together because he thoroughly believed they were just friends me too right there so this chick wako mtn this hr lady at mtn was she was a young woman just like me she was successfully um recruited into lesbianism the very thing that's currently trying to recruit me into lesbianism apparently allegedly there was a kind of spell that you can cast or a frustration you can inspire in the life of a woman so severe by irresponsible misogynistic or chauvinistic men that they would then gravitate towards each other all that misandry has caused in me out of e hatred for men especially a kind of man it's just convert me into that woman in diary of a mad black woman hell hath no fury like a woman scorned maybe a little bit of a medusa out here walking around as a gorgon with a snail with snakes for a hair for hair angry at all men trying to shoot them dead that's all that it's done it's made me a little bit of a lynn whitfield in thin line between love and hate but it has never converted me into a lesbian it's just made me a crazy woman that could kill a man like i'm not even out you trying to lie it's put me on that tlc show snapped women who kill um yeah you know that show snapped women who kill it's like a whole homicidal show and tlc talking about women who eventually snapped and then they killed men it's only made me monster what's the charlie Theron in the movie monster but it's never actually like in like made me be like hmm Okay, so since I come from an abusive relationship, let me make like that toya machene and then first and foremost in your toa sanji all together become a sangoma, following which I'm then going to divorce a man and marry a woman. <laughs> Never <laughs> I'm sorry, no. Like, no, that's not happening. Like, I, it's n like all that misandry, basically the just sheer hatred of men, inspired by mistreatment of my person by men. All that it has done is just make me kind of homicidal. But it has not made me lesbian, and it never will. And I am honest when I say I am homicidal, because honestly speaking, die, detire, die. I believe it in the worst way. They should just die. When the Lord shows me that their end is nigh, 
and if they're gonna go in the grave for afflicting women like this i'm like but why is it taking so long i am not even gonna lie i'm being honest with my feelings let them die i am waiting for my ex-boyfriend to die i am waiting for the little random in america to die i'm just waiting for them to die because they're the bane of my existence and then once they have died i might get in a hammock swing it and be like who finally i have relief from these idiots that won't stop casting spells on women now make no mistakes i am not saying all men are like that i understand thoroughly that likely there are some that do exist that are better but i've been endured through a hail storm of rubbish from such wicked men wicked men that my view of men in society has been severely skewed by severe torture and abuse you will get that in any abuse victim therefore do not imagine me as a woman in jefila that's been made a homicidal creep i don't know how to handle my emotions you all need to understand when every guy you have encountered just back to back back to back has done some strange thing afflicted you with witchcraft despite how many times you have spoken about it in the run-up to as being your pet peeve that is something that will push you over the edge until eventually the lord puts a bandage on your wounds and enables you to see a better man so the thing that can cure me from my incredible misandry is essentially a star of a man he would have to be perfect and at this point that is jesus if at all it is a human being it would have to be a man that would have to deal with my ptsd until i'm cured because i have only ever been endured for literally an entire decade rubbish men so please do not mistake me for blanket painting every man like this but understand that i'm kind of dangerous right now as a woman because if a man were to snap all up in my grill, break out into witchcraft like mumps all up in my grill, I am afraid that I might actually snap a neck a neck while he's sleeping, make like that woman in the Bible who put who drove a knife, a, 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 a pin, a, what do you call this thing? A nail into the brain of some guy that had to die and then go and celebrate and say, ooh, I killed a man. There's a jail, a jail or whatever in the Bible that killed like some dude and the battle basically was given over into a woman's hand. You know the story of De Deborah, the judge? Yeah, that's how I feel right now. Such men as the ones that have endured me through this rubbish and the kinds of men that have also endured the woman at M10 who was turned, turned into a lesbian because of such men. They need to be rescued from these men without turning over to the devil and worshipping lesbianism, but rather trust the Lord to ultimately drive a nail into the head of the perpetrator guy. And I've only ever been endured through these perpetrator men, so the only way that I can never be cured out of this is, like I said, by the perfect man who is Jesus. And secondly, if at all he were to raise up a man that would be patient enough to deal with the fact that I've got PTSD, and frankly, in the middle of the night, if at all he is my husband, he might just, like, you know, wake up with a pen on his face, because I paranoid, like, proper, woke up in the middle of the night thinking that the man in bed with me is trying to rape me and then i just like wham him with a pen and it's like oh, but why would you do that oh sorry i came out of a dream it's called ptsd now if a woman can uh, if men can do that to a woman to a point of causing her to injure her husband because she can't thoroughly comprehend waking up next to a man ever and then next thing she marries one and then in her dream space she forgets that she is married and wakes up next to one and then beats him up in his sleep <laughs> when you get a woman to that level of ptsd um you gotta die like you probably have got to be exsanguinated from the earth uh like i said do not mistake my misandry for just a generalistic view of men i've only ever been endured through these kinds of randos and my sentiment concerning them is die dirty rat die however let me just put this out there that female from mtn that hr lady from mtn the thing that she is i communicated it i let you guys know because it's the only case that i observed that god showed me of a woman that was converted to lesbianism by mistreatment by men africa is a country just teeming at the folds with gender-based violence i also uh, saw a, 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 an article written on quora digest where a woman was like i just cheated on my husband out of revenge and it feels good why i cheated on my husband because out of revenge and feels good why like when women start to act like men like the world is over do you understand where you're gonna go and sleep with all, the whole town because your man has slept with the whole town we don't get to do that but women don't care about that anymore because literally we are being handed our faces in bad horrible men that are converting us into little brute beasts too like when the gentleness and tranquility of a female in society is taken out and now Latoya is busy marrying some butch looking lesbian chick like I Joe mm -mm. something gotta like you know be decimated over there 
and i just feel as if the holy spirit is the only way out uh yeah then let's fast forward yet again couple of years down the line so recent this happened is that uh, that it's basically about around last year sometime i started a fitness page on facebook in order to you know do what i need to do like i'm doing it i'm doing it for tv because this is like a sprite ad amen in like 1995 because we're old anyway whatever um and in my fitness channel i go on right ahead or uh, page to befriend this one fitness influencer already that's kind of big in comparison to me and she responds to me surprisingly well given that she's so much bigger than me and let's fast forward dre, 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 like uh, just a few weeks down the line and i wake up from a horrendous nightmare where i am busy making out with this woman in bed and i am literally about to marry her she's my fiance Whew. this woman went and cast a spell even on my fitness so that i don't go anywhere that i might lean on her she is from zimbabwe or swaziland one of these countries in africa that have outlawed homosexual marriage and she imagined that she can move to this like you know hell hath no fury like a woman scorned country south africa that has got no rules at all everything just goes out here it is properly like the the hometown of alistair crowley yeah if you can just move to south africa you'll be able to marry whoever you want abort however many babies you are just go to south africa to commit as many crimes against god as you want to do so this lady figured that her solution out of the zimbabwean tyranny or swazi tyranny wherever she's from is by marrying a south african and when she found me she thought i was pretty and since I had already liked her page and liked her workouts and followed her because I follow fitness influencers because in and of myself I am trying to be one she then made a decision that I'm gonna be her wife so I mean this is even worse than those other females trying to seduce me when I was still with my boyfriend those ladies were speaking pornographic language to me to make me lust after lesbian relationships in my dream I was actively having an affair with this silly woman making out in bed feeling uncomfortable saying jesus is not going to be happy with this and her being like no not really christ is cool with it i was so mad when i woke up from that nightmare so angry because i was like what in the world this chick i like her content and she thinks i have a crush on her what's going on that's the thing in 2022 because this happened last year these days you can't just like uh, or smile at, at a woman that has got these kinds of desires without her making an assumption that you must like her back in the day the rather default assumption was she's smiling because she's friendly now the default assumption is she must also be a lesbian really if that's your code talk i'm sorry last time i checked that's just a way to be cordial with a human being this woman slapped me with the same witchcraft that men have slept me with for years Corobel, Corobela, real roofies basically making someone fall in love with you using witchcraft uh, what, what would be called a love spell <sighs> i was so angry i was so mad I was so mad because for me it was like I am already dealing with so many roofies spells so many love spells from men and I hate them all I'm already making war with forcefulness who want to come into my life gang gang how the heck am I supposed to add on to that plate women too how in the world am I supposed to make war with perverted women also I'm dealing with perverted men when when is a girl gonna catch a break I was so angry I was so angry. I was like, let's take a look at your Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Why didn't she just send me a DM and, and flirt with me there until I told her, I'm sorry, I'm not that kind of girl. Why did you take a look at Expecting what you send me. I respond to her by saying, I want you back. Come take me now. Start growling and stuff. Just like it, guys. Anyway, whatever. That's what happened last year. So it turns, and you know what? Throughout my, ten, my journey, suffering like this at the hands of men, I told you about 30 to 35 percent of my dreams lesbian suggestion i've been ignoring them i've been dreaming this stuff but now i'm talking about it because i finally dreamt about it again last night where this time around i was at a, a, a dvd store like who in the world is still getting dvds but anyway whatever you know witchcraft is all about having things be ba very backward if you're dreaming about old school stuff then you know get it hard. I was trying to get DVDs at a DVD store. Why under even I would even be there? And the consultant that was working there, the, the sales clerk, like the employee, the staff member at the DVD, um, like movie rental, basically, outlet. Mm. That lady over there, <clears throat> it was this one young, what looked like a Gen Z chick, okay? White girl. And she was like flirting with me in my dream, you know? And I could tell that she was flirting with me. However, flattered. I was flattered. I was flattered that first of all this very young gen z lady likes me so it's like being flattered as a 39 year old woman that a 23 year old guy thinks you're hot i mean yeah that's flattering 
Because you feel like, oh, I must look so young. That young guys still think I got it. Yeah, I was apparently allegedly supposed to respond to this Gen Z flirting lesbian. The same way I would react to a Gen Z flirting straight guy. Like if a straight dude at a bank. I've been praised before by little kids at Echo Center Bank. One time I went there and some teller told me, oh my goodness, you look 19. I would never ever believe your ID number. And I stood there giggling. I said, like, stop. <laughs> he was a guy. It's how you react when guys flirt with you. You get flattered. Okay, on some, I still got it. But when a woman does it, it's kind of insulting. And here it is that this little white girl working at the DVD store in my dream was flirting with me and I reacted to that flirtation by a young person the way that I would react today as a 39 year old woman being flirted with by a, a little boy. I would be flattered that he thinks I'm still so fly that I'm worthy of his perusal of me. Even though I would not humor it because he is so young, I would nonetheless be flattered because I still got it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I literally reacted that way in my dream. I always, in these lesbian suggestion dreams, react that way. I always react positivity to the lesbian activity. And then I wake up all grossed out and upset. That why are you shoving this down my throat? So, uh, you know, it's time to talk now. It's time to talk. Uh, let's just say this one last time. I don't have this temptation. It is not a gate that is open. I, uh, I'm mad at men to a point of even being homicidal. I will admit at least that much. I can't stand them. I am properly out of my mind, like disinterested in men at the present moment because they have grossed me out with how unintelligent they are in their pursuit of women since they have not allowed themselves to be trained in the art of pursuit of a woman by God, given that they have trusted Satan to help them along a coromel. I can't stand men right now because I can't stand them because they feel entitled, they're full of exploitation. When a woman is crying, they don't take her intelligence seriously and they just want to kiss it out the way. Instead of realizing this is a dire situation that needs to be dealt with with very like serious minds to find a solution for this thing and don't talk to her like a little baby girl that needs to be patted on the shoulder and told, there, there, relax. I have my own mind to think and if you can't talk with me like a whole grown woman that is having an intelligent conversation but rather as a casanova that can smooth talk your way around a woman's underpants by appearing to be compassionate to her cause shut up on that day and don't talk matter for the life of me do not throw me a lesbo do not throw me a lesbian and expect me to be all that upset again i i, I literally horrendously afflicted by men to a point where I can't stand them but I'm not about to be horrendously afflicted by women in a similar capacity to the way to the way that I am afflicted by men and react the exact same way the irritation I currently feel for women is their apathy their nonchalance like what I spoke about my mom making like Sophie and Kill Bill being on a phone while her daughter is dying that that's the kind of irritation I have towards women how dare you leave me at the hands of these menacing beasts all over the show that are exploiting the circumstance these idiots all over the show that are busy cursing me casting spells trying to get me by force using a it is because you have abandoned me as a woman that i am at the mercy of such creepy perverted men that is the irritation i have with women right now it's not the same as that which i have for men because women are hurting me in a different way from the way that men are hurting me men are hurting me typically in a perverted sense sexually very aggressive women it's their apathy so when a woman is acting more like a man, I'm sorry, you're anomalous, you don't qualify, you're not in this radar, you're not even a bleep on it, you don't count so much are you disqualified that you don't even get mentioned even though you literally are reigning terror as a cast member that is always featured in my shows, in my dreams and my visions. I will not even talk about you. So females who have a crush, step away or repent. Uh, men who think that you can make me sin somehow. Hey, sorry, man. I'm sorry. That couple lesbian, I told you, men, your best strategy is to keep on doing what you're doing. It ain't broke. Don't try to fix it. Uh, we're at a trial by ordeal. Ultimately, you're going to end up dead. But, you know, because you're going to end up dead, you get to fight for your life by punching me in. And the way to punch me in is literally slap me with Corobella. I will cry and scream the same way I keep screaming and crying every time Corobella comes my way. Every time a man very typically does a strange man thing, every time they're being misogynistic and chauvinistic, they will just, you know, increase my fury and make me wish they were six feet under mess with my christianity all that jazz proper caused me to long for and salivate after the blood of this random buffoon that's how you try to come at me man don't don't try to make me compromise on the lord's ways by bringing lesbianism in it's not gonna work as for lesbians 
like I said, just keep doing what you're doing far away. Uh, either repent or don't even bother because you're not even going to get a special mention. This will be the last time I talk about this. I'm not going to raise it again. Should I get more dreams about lesbians doing a thing? I will not talk about it because for years I've been getting dreams. 35% of my dreams and nightmares are dedicated to the lesbian agenda. I don't respond. I don't talk about it. I don't share what I see in my dreams. I see it though, but I don't talk about it because it's that irrelevant. Why? Because I'm not into sissy porn. I don't watch things that will make me long for lesbians. Every time I watch a Netflix show where they're properly trying to shove the, the, the silly little agenda down my throat, I unfortunately, very sadly, walk away from continuing to watch that particular series because America has started with its woke agenda. If I were to see a gay kissing scene on the TV, I stop it. I close my eyes. I don't look at it. And if the show is family enough for me to realize that it's a one-soul thing that's not going to happen again, I fast forward past, past the scene and move on. Like what the Flash, Michael Schofield, whatever his real life, life name is, decided to, since his doppelganger in another earth is gay, to have a relationship with a man. And there is a scene where they are trying to show us them kissing. I fast forwarded past it and still continued to watch The Flash because I knew that Go The Flash, they, um, the show generally for the better part is good. So I can fast forward past random parts. They're busy trying to make Flash's daughter lesbian. I'm going to fast forward past that too. Because it's watchable. 80% of it is watchable. But there are shows where you're going to be slapped with a kiss in the beginning of the show, in the middle, in the end. And then the first episode of the next season, kiss there, kiss there, maybe even a scene in bed that I avoid altogether. So that that's how I react to the colorful agenda. I'm very full of avoidance. To a point where when it comes to my ministry, even though I keep getting shown that I am literally up for recruit for such a kingdom as this, um, and this particular section of the kingdom, I, I, I don't even talk about it, guys. And there's so much I can talk about. Y'all know I'm a dreamer. Y'all know I'm a seer. And sometimes the things that I dream, I don't even want to talk about them, but then I come in, I'm like, oh, guys, I don't want to talk about this, but you know what? I'm going to raise it anyway. Mm. I literally strive through my lethargy to talk about matters when I am shown them because there's so much demonic attack in the world against the body of Christ. I strive through it and I talk anyway, but the one topic that I haven't even bothered to invest all of my wits into is this one. It is not a strategy. Don't use it. It's not a strategy. You want to come at me with a boot print flying kick, literally leave a mark on my face, scar me a little bit, create a pizza face out of me, burn it, make it worse than this acne all up in my grill. Continue to send me wicked men. I promise you they are my Achilles heel. They are 100% the bane of my existence. They are the best strategy you have used so far. Don't break it. Like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't try with the lesbian. I'm just saying, if you continue to try, I mean, like I've done all these years, I will just keep like just like riding past the waves. I won't talk about it. You won't even know. You won't even know that the spell was seen by me in a dream. You won't know because I've been ignoring it all these years. So you can frustrate yourself by continuing to attempt this agenda. Um, or you can just continue to go back to giving me a Corovela men. I mean, that, that will always work. The Corovela men will always work. I promise you, they really get to me. They do. I'm giving you tips out here in these streets. Come on, take it. It's a win. Just keep using filthy, your golden goose. Fastangela. I hope you got that. Now that we have gotten that out of the way, lesbian community, ain't no hate, uh, except you're going to hell. And over and above it, properly, like, you know what, fornication is a better strategy against me. So stop doing the whole same sex thing. It'll never happen. Not with me. I've not opened a door. I've, I've never, like, since I was a kid, I told you in the bathroom when my girls were kissing back then, I made a pact within myself deep down that I'd never experiment. You're dealing with, like, literally a pact that a woman sealed when she was just 15. I'm like 39. Y'all, like, chill. Just don't even try. It's almost 20 years, guys. Eh, eh, no relax. Not 20, 30. It's like, you don't have hair, It's almost 30 years. Like, literally, a pact I made about 30 years ago. I mean, for, like, 15... Yeah, it's almost 30 years, probably. What in the world and the heaven are you doing? Like a woman is out here. Yeah, it's almost 30 years, but like at 35, it'll be 30 whole years. At 35, not 35, what is it, 45. When I'm 45, because I'm currently 39. When I'm 45, it's just, it's over 20 years. It will have been 30 years since I decided that this lesbian thing, I'm not trying to do it. And I live in a country where it's not taboo to be lesbian. So you must understand, this is a choice I made in a climate where it was encouraged. Without Jesus, how much more than now that I'm in Christ do you absolutely stand no chance? So like I said, keep sending me the the swibinkis it's running, delaying. They're your strategy. Okay. Stick to what works, guys. Stick to what works. Right. Okay, I'm sending out on Christ's name. I hope you've been edified by.